Hey, what's going on guys? Railfinning101 Vermont here. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a layout update. Um, and a lot of things have changed. And when I say a lot, trust me, it's it's a lot. So, uh, uh, first thing I really want to talk about is uh, the layout. Uh, I had a little water issue. Uh, we had a pipe that decided to start leaking pretty good. And, and uh, yeah, it basically was, oh, it wasn't going to be that bad, and the next day I came down here, and there was a ton of water down here. So, uh, basically rebuilt the layout to do something I, uh, model a lot better, which would be the, uh, Green Mountain Subdivision. So, uh, as you can see here, a lot has changed around here. Um, and we'll get to more of it in a second here. Um, there's a little story behind this here, but I'll tell you all about that here in a few minutes. So starting over here, uh, general area, uh, I just moved all my cars to over here for now. Uh, so don't worry about it, those won't always be sitting there. Um, I did Bill's Falls a little bit backwards, uh, just to fit it in with everything here. Uh, as you can see, I have a two-yard track over there little run around track right here and this is where the station will be going right here uh, shout out to uh, my friend Jaden who just finished the custom 804 for me um, and I do have another project coming soon for him I'll show you more about that here in a few more minutes so yeah that's the uh, Bells Falls area to the diamond uh, I will have a connection switch that runs out to here, don't mind the mess. Probably come up to here and go back that way about two feet. Uh, that's going to be for the NECR and Pan Am interchange switch, and or connection switch and lead. Uh, I got the canal right here that I will be working on. Uh, the little siding I put in. This uh, was only about here. Uh, I then fixed that, made it come all the way back to here, which then brings us into Riverside. Uh, I didn't really make it a full two scale, obviously. Um, I just don't have the space to do that. Uh, the 301 there and the 305 are actually from the other side, so we had the first successful run here earlier. Uh, this unit here is the 201. Uh, I recently picked that up at a train show. Uh, really good deal on that. Uh, it was about 70 bucks. So, that's just waiting for a decoder. That's all. And other than that, that's all set ready to go. Uh, let's see. Let me move us around here. Sorry about the mess, guys. We've been working really hard down here. So, this is Riverside. The general area of Riverside. You get your tank farm track there in the back where the Procore cars are. The Amherst 45th anniversary car is the uh, siding for the Salt. Main lines where the 301, 305 are. And the track closest to us is the Maintenance Away uh, track there. Coming this way, uh, come around the curve. Uh, I know there's really no industry here in real life. But uh, I figured just for a little bit more operations, uh, why not have a lumber facility? And this is all from the old layout, so I will eventually be repainting it all and everything. But uh, this will be called Riverdale Lumber Supply. Uh, they'll be taking boxcar loads. At the moment, I don't have any center beams, but once I do, I will uh, add center beams to this industry list. So yeah. Um, here's the bridge. Uh, like I said, we made a first successful run over the layout earlier today. Uh, there was only a little uh, little issue. It was right here. There's a little uh, elevation right there. Uh, but that's not too hard uh, to fix. Um, for connection, uh, as you can see here, I made a solder point right there. And there's another one right there. On um, the way I'm connecting these the wires here is I have the six prong uh, connectors for the bridge wires and they'll go in to here see if I can get this right in the first try plugs in and now from this side of the bridge to 
Uh, Bellows Falls now has power. Um, same goes for the other side here. It's all right there. Um, coming this way is the main line. Uh, I'm going to put a field right here with a farm in the background where all that stuff is at the moment. Uh, and then it comes into Chester. Uh, what I'm going to do in Chester, to, since it's not too full scale here, but uh, it's close enough. The It'll fit three coaches, so I'm going to put the first coach right about here. The engine will be parked about where it's sitting now. But the road's going to go right in between the car and the engines. Actually, they do that in real life too, so they can fuel up 405. And then we got the 311 on the other end here. Yeah, so this is the part that most of you are like, whoa. If This is if you're familiar with the area. Uh, you're probably like, whoa, there's no yard there. And yeah, I know there's no yard there, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a scenery divider from here to here. I'm going to cut a hole in it. And so this will be a little staging yard, if you will. Uh, the engines are going to be right here, as where they are now. So yeah. I am very happy that I uh, got my layout all back in functioning order here. I uh, can't wait to do some operating sessions. Um, it's going to be really fun. Uh, let's see, anything else that's changed? I don't think so. I don't think much has changed so yeah it's this is a fresh start guys uh, it's a welcome back into my hobby here so I really can't wait to get back into it uh, do a lot of scenery work and yeah uh, let's see anything else I want to say before I let you guys go here oh yeah shout outs to Central New England Railroad Productions Lit Lantern Productions he's actually starting a really cool series uh, on the workbench, I think it's called. Uh, I'd have to go back. Uh, I'll probably link the first episode in uh, the description below. And uh, I'd like to say thank you to the 250 plus subscribers that I'm at right now. Or I might be a little less, or a little above. I don't know. I haven't really checked it. I just knew I was close, and I think I actually am beyond the point. Whatever. Um, I thank you guys anyways for uh, sticking around to the channel. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments of the, uh, rebuild. And other than that, guys, uh, we'll see you next time. And, uh, peace, love, and happiness.